All right, so a really interesting bout coming up. Uh, Jimmy Hughes, Slim Jim Hughes versus Victor Lopez Carmen. Now we're in the ring, fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 250 pounds, fighting out of Nolan Brothers Boxer, and changed by Paige Eggerbrecht and Alex Roberts, Jimmy Slim Jim Hughes. So this is our dude, Jimmy Slim Jim Hughes, coming out to the Heartbreak Kid theme song. Uh, absolute banger. Jimmy lost like hundreds of pounds, hence the nickname. Uh, Left-handed, uh, Dover Mass native. Uh, heavy, heavy left hand. Um, yeah, so I mean, Jimmy would be the first to tell. Jimmy's not a technician. Like he's he's not the super tactical boxer. He's not super polished. He's remarkably tough. Throws very hard overhand lefts, and he's the much larger man in the ring tonight. Yep. Please welcome, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 235 pounds, fighting out of red line, fight sports, and trained by Vincent Morin, Victor Lopez Carmen. So Lopez Carmen has a wildly interesting story. He is a Native American, uh, grew up on a reservation. He is now at Harvard School of Oncology, I believe he's said. Correct. Is that correct? Pediatric Oncology. He is um, like a genuine super badass and scares the crap out of me. Um, as far as boxing ability, I believe he is the more polished of the two. I think he's definitely the more polished boxer. I think Jimmy benefits from size. Um, I, I guarantee you uh, Lopez Carmen is not scared of Jimmy Hughes or anyone else in this building. Um, he has ice water running through his brain, <laughs> his brain, his veins. <laughs> uh, I saw a little bit of his Instagram story. Well-spoken, articulate kid, um, but uh, but definitely here uh, to kick ass and chew bubble gum. Um, so yeah, Jimmy Hughes, Nolan Brothers Boxing. This fight is sponsored uh, by our gold sponsor. Carmen Lopez, sponsor, or Lopez Carmen, Hewitt, rather, out of Redline, trained by Arizona. a good friend of ours, Vincent our Moran, sponsor, uh, uh, who's just a great, great and coach and good sponsor. dude. Uh, in Jimmy Hughes' corner, two of our uh, competitive boxing coaches, Paige Egebrecht and Al Roberts. It seems like there's a lot of fans for both of these gentlemen. Um, so, yeah, it should be interesting. Uh, my guess, if there's any indication, I think Victor Lopez will probably start pretty strong. I think he uh, might have a uh, hair advantage in terms of conditioning uh, and uh, polished boxing. And I think Jimmy will benefit from being the larger of the two men. Um, and, and just being a, a tough SOB. Yeah, so, yeah. Right. It's, it's, it's big, big, big guy. Very, very tough. Uh, right now, both guys actually looking pretty tentative and no measuring polish, each other. Both, yeah. You know, great uh, jabs. Jimmy loading up that <laughs> left hand. Jimmy has a lot of fans in the crowd, clearly. Uh, Lopez snuck in a, a decent little straight right underneath as well. Um, for big guys, they're already showing a tremendous amount of patience. Uh, Jimmy having a little more success with that jab right off the jump. <clears throat> I like how straight Lopez's uh, right hand is. Yeah, and Lo with Lopez is circling away from Jimmy's big, big left hand. <clears throat> it's kind of hard not to be biased when you have somebody, you know, fighting out of your own backyard, somebody you know. You know what? Love. It's not, though, because Jimmy's the man, but, like, what's the point of this charity, yeah, right? It's to raise a money. tremendous amount of and, money. And, and both these research. guys, like, again, I know Jimmy's a badass, haven't been in the gym, and, and knowing um, uh, Lopez Carmen's story, I mean, there's, uh, he's, he's the most badass dude. He is. I mean, he's just an absolute um, real one. I'll tell you, I, I expected this to be a kind of, 
bite down and throw yeah, bombs. Yeah, like, like a real, real <laughs> like a slugfest. And I'll tell you, both of them, look, look, their boxing looks pretty good. Uh, I'd like to see Jimmy throw a, a, a right hand after, after that big left hand. He tends to throw yeah. that big left hand. But Jimmy is controlling the action with jabs. Uh, as I say that, uh, Victor landed a great jab of his own. Um, I think... Jimmy's having a little bit more success with his jab, whereas Victor's having a little bit more success with his really, really straight right hand. Um, but as of now, uh, a seconds. shockingly felt, felt like a short round. No, 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 no. Okay. It was legit. I was actually watching the clock. It felt short because we didn't shut up the whole time. Uh, that's gonna be a tough round to score. Um, I do feel like Jimmy did enough on the outside, just pawing. Please um, welcome our. I, I mean, Jimmy was the busier man. Like again, like it, it's, when it comes well, to to polish, I mean, hit, hit that that left hand is big out. and loop. It is it is uglier. Well, Victor Carmen's as straight as an arrow. At the but same time, I, th I think Jimmy Hughes landed <laughs> landed more and controlled more of the outside. I'd like to see him float to his own right this round. Sure. I'd like to see him add a right hand. Um, I I think Lopez Carmen is likely the fitter fighter. I think he's not taking advantage That's of that. That's what I'm saying. I, I'd like to see if, if Victor Carmen, I, I, I'd like to see him, you know, really kind of put some pressure on uh I on love Jimmy the buckets. Just a cartoonishly large Why bucket. Did, that's a new thing, Five man. I'm going to ask Vincent. Maybe it's like an intimidation thing. Yeah, like you our like bucket's a, bigger yeah, than your yeah. bucket. Was, remember that Key and Peele skit where they just kept putting on bigger the hats? hats? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good. Um, so, yeah, it's, um, I think... Um, very competitive round. Victor allowed Jimmy um, to kind of play his game. Yeah, a little bit, you know. And now we're seeing already, it looks like Victor was a little bit more front foot heavy. But Jimmy Hughes loading up that left hand. Jimmy circling to his right, so good adjustments in Jimmy's corner. He's ducking down and whipping. Did someone lose a mouth guard? They both looked down for a second. I don't know what for. Maybe, oh, good, good, straight, right. good, good straight left by Jimmy. Uh, Victor doing the right thing by circling. Uh, decent jabs of his own. <clears throat> and again, Victor Polish. I just he's 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 a much smaller individual. Good left hand. By, by the way, Victor. Victor's huge. Oh we no, no, I know. That, to say he's you know? a smaller individual he's a is kind of funny. He's a big dude. boy, um, big strong guy. Um, but it's super heavyweight. It's anything over two hundred three. Sure. So I mean, you can have you know a 30, 40 pound weight advantage. I know it's only like fifteen, twenty pounds, but Jim, Jimmy, the much larger individual here. Good left hand by Victor Carmen there. That yeah, was a good left hand. Halfway through the second round. A short right by Victor. I don't think it landed, but I G like the Jimmy, way he's thinking. Jimmy kind of abandoning that jab that kind of he had more success with at the start. Body jab there. So early success for Jimmy Hughes. Victor Carmen, I think, is coming away with the second That's half the of this right round. Hand That's a straight right That's a great straight right by Victor. <coughs> Jimmy kind of falling in a little bit on that jab. Kind of looking looking for Victor Carmen to kind of step in. Victor Carmen gave him the nod, like, okay, that, that, that was a decent left hand, buddy. Whew. Jimmy Hughes swinging for the fences. 20 seconds left in the round. Uh, uh, yeah, I think anybody's round, I think Victor Carmen having a little more success here than in round one. And it should be interesting how we score it, because I'll tell you, when so far with all our haymakers bouts, we've called them... Pretty much, we we're all, like a nearly 100% success rate. I wonder if our bias will, will come in, you know, because this is going to be. So, so look, at, I think, I think Victor won that round. So here's the deal, though. Jimmy, Jimmy had, had a good finish, great great success for the first 30 seconds. Yep. Victor pretty much pitched a shutout for the next minute, and then Jimmy closed out the last 10 seconds. I, I'll say this: I'm not. I, I I believe, I believe Jimmy snuck out the first round. I believe Victor snuck out the second round. For all I know, and I'm serious, the scorecards could be yep, completely mirrored. It could be a shutout for Jimmy. It could be a shutout for Victor, right? My, what I'll say is this: objectively, the third round is going to determine who wins this fight. I, I, I if think anyone that has a massive third round, I uh, think they're yeah. Now Victor looking pretty fresh. Uh, I just can't get over that five-gallon bucket. Yeah, that is wild. <laughs> And honestly, Jimmy looking pretty fresh. I did see Vincent give kind of like pantomime, like, like take a big deep breath, which I like. And I do like the instruction from both Paige and Al, kind of measured approach. Looks like Vincent, as he's shadow boxing, just showing straight punches down the pipe, you know, which is pretty much what you should be doing in a case like this. I do think this fight's anyone's, anyone's going to the third round here. <clears throat> Jimmy Hughes looks fresh, fresh on his stool, looking a little tired here. He just but such he just a throw big, hard, big yeah. left hand. So the thing with those, they're not landing, 
they're not landing. Good thing uh, for Victor. But uh, and, and and honestly, officials don't love when you open up that much. Yep, With that being said, you miss, if you're man. the only one throwing yep. like that, uh, it does go a long way. Good, Good jab, jab by Jimmy. Jimmy. That was yep. great. Great jab. <clears throat> um, Victor starting to paw a little bit, starting to reach a little bit with that lead hand. A good right hand by Victor, two good right hands by Victor. But Jimmy in the pocket now. Uh, all right, we'll see. Jimmy, Halfway through the third and final round. This is really anyone's fight. Yeah. Good right hook by Jimmy Hughes there. Yeah. And Great uh, jab good again. Good jab again. The one thing Victor did pretty well, he was kind of controlling that lead hand. If he gets his lead hand over top of Jimmy's, he tends to control it and, and take away that jab. But Jimmy's the, landing the, 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 throwing big, the biggest flurries, <clears throat> I feel like, are Jimmy's. Though, though the, 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 the clean, sharp the punches are Victor's. sharper punches are Victor's. <clears throat> it's going to be a tough, tough This is going to be score. a tough we'll, fight to we'll score. We'll see if anything emphatic happens in the next 30. And it can. These guys are big. Two I good usually. straight punches by Victor, followed by a great flurry by Jimmy. 30 seconds. Somebody said something, and Victor just acknowledged it. I don't know if Tom oh. was the one who said it. Tom is Tom yelling at somebody. Yelling, it's, it's somebody in the blue corner. Not quite sure what's going on. Probably, uh, I don't know if it's Vincent, if it's animated. Good good left hand by Jimmy, Jimmy Hughes. Hughes. Big left hand by Jimmy Hughes there. 10 seconds. <clears throat> this is going to be an unbelievably difficult fight to score. It's going to be a difficult yeah. fight to score. So, listen, that was awesome. Uh, Vincent throwing his hands up. Uh, uh, Jimmy giving respect. Victor Jimmy giving respect. pumping up the crowd. Yeah. That was great. Awesome, awesome, awesome fight. So shockingly good showing of yeah. boxing. I, was, I, was, I, I thought both men would just throw bombs. So, look, anyone that's ever fought or anyone that's ever coached, dude, you get like a lump in your throat when your guys are fighting because you're like, you're just not in control of it, right? Yeah, I, I, so when I, you get a guy like Jimmy Hughes, right, who's a big dude, and you get a guy um, like Victor Lopez Palmer, who's a big dude, and like a psycho in like a nice way, by the way. I don't mean yeah, that yeah. to be oh, like... Yeah. Right. No, no, no. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. He's uh, an individual who's very willing to fight. Yes. Um, um, but, uh, yeah, that was that was a great showing by both men. Yep. Uh, Victor's, Victor's scary. Yeah. I think, Paul, I think both men think they won this fight. Yes. Be, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, it'll be super interesting to see what happens uh, with this decision. I wonder if we'll see our first split of the night, or our first announced split of the night. Official decision coming up. The winner by split decision. Split decision, split decision of the night. Out of the blue corner, Victor, Victor got it. I don't hate it. Lopez I don't Carmen. hate it. It was the closest fight of the night. Yep. Uh, it was a split decision. I mean, we called a split. I mean, yeah. that was a, a yeah. very, very, very competitive fight. 